So what's going on guys? So we are back in our project here and uh, what we're going to be doing today is something pretty quick. So basically I'm planning to put two individuals inside this car and have like a conversation and whatnot. But um, you're going to notice that I'm going to run into a problem here because the windows are kind of in the way. Now if I put a camera right here as you can see I'm not going to be able to see through that. So we're going to have to remove this um, window and that's kind of one of the downsides about not having your own model and getting it from the marketplace because uh, in this model here I actually can't close the window of the car so I actually have to remove it somehow so that's what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna go ahead and remove uh, these uh, door windows so that we can see through that and put a camera right here for some talking right so let's go ahead and find this mesh here so I'm gonna already got it clicked so let's click it again and I'm gonna go to the mesh I'm gonna go ahead and dismiss all this so I can get rid of that and I'm gonna go to this skeletal mesh right here uh, you can see the actual file path so we're gonna find that and it's in a vehicle pack uh, vertebra and animation blueprints uh, blueprints and the skeletal mesh that I actually want is this one right here the 18 so I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this so basically you just gonna make sure that it is a skeletal mesh because right here we have a blueprint or physics asset. You don't want that. You want the actual skeletal mesh. So this is what we're going to be doing. So basically we're going to go ahead and right click and we're going to export this. So asset actions, export. And I already created a folder here. So I'm going to go tutorial and save that. FBS 2016 is okay. Go ahead and export that. And then we are going to be using Blender, which is free. This is 2.9. Um, I'm not used to and familiar to Blender's movements yet, so I'm sorry if I'm moving a lot. And what we're going to do is import that car in this software here so we can go ahead and delete these. And file, import, and FBX should be right here. And we're going to open that car up in Blender. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is actually separate the window from the car. So let's click the car. Uh, we're going to go from object mode to edit mode. And now it's going to open up the vertices for the car. Now be very careful uh, what you're selecting here because it's actually going to screw up your model. So all I'm going to do is click on the middle of this uh, windshield or window and press L as in Lima and then I'm going to press P as in Papa and then we're going to do separate by selection. So that's separated now and then we're going to go to the other side click on this L P selection and then we're going to go back to our object mode and now if I click here it's by itself. So on the top right corner, I'm going to go ahead and go to the root. And all I have to do is select these two because they're now separate. And I'm going to go ahead and delete them. And now you can see that that is actually open. Now we can actually see through it. So let's go ahead and export this here. So we're going to select the car and we're going to hold shift and go to the root. So all of that. And then we're going to go file, export, FBX. And I'm going to name it tutorial no window or something like that and then for the object type I'm just gonna go ahead and click armature and then shift mesh and then we're gonna go down let's remove the bake animation uh, take down armature and then uh, uncheck leaf bones and then go ahead and export this okay so once that's exported all we have to do is actually import it back in Unreal Engine 4 so let's go ahead and do that drag and drop and then it's gonna pick the skeleton which is correct. That's the skeleton for the car, so that's fine. We're going to import the skeletal mesh, import mesh. It's all good, and everything else should be good here. Uh, I'm not going to import any of the animations because it's already in there. And just making sure, and that should be good. Let's go ahead and import. Okay, so now we have this car with no window, and if I go right here, I can go like side by side, and you can see the windows are gone, but you can also see that the materials are all gone as well. So we have to reassign back all the materials that's missing. So how do we do that? We just go back to the mesh, double click the mesh, and you're actually going to see all those missing materials. But if you look at the original files that we had earlier, the materials are still there. Now, unfortunately, we are going to have to do this and fill it in one at a time. Let's say for element five, we're going to do metallic gray dark. So metallic gray dark or just do dark or just do gray dark 
and that's pretty much it right there then save and you just have to fill in all of those empty materials for your vehicle and eventually you are going to have a full complete vehicle without the windows so what i'm going to do now is just skip uh this video and fast forward it so you don't have to watch me fill all of these stuff in because it's quite a bit there's a lot of materials in there that i am missing all right guys so now we have the car over here so we have the original car and now we have the car that we exported to blender and then imported it back from blender but now we don't have the window so that means I can put a camera right here and have like a you know like an actor right there a CG actor and I'm gonna be able to capture that pretty well because like I said earlier over here you really can't you see that I'm kinda like tight so I had to remove that window so that I can have a camera placed right here and you're gonna be able to see both characters. All right guys, if you have any questions, let me know. And if you learned something new today, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you wanna see more of this kind of videos.